Hey, Genki Call here with Guild Wars Brown Attack Day for the week of August 15th, 2022. For this first team, we've got Freeze, we've got Beatrix, we've got Iron Hawk, lots of mana gen here, all feeding into Beatrix. And I was going to use this team, but you know, I mean, Iron Hawk can do some damage, but Forest Troll is going to feed right into Queen Beatrix. I could use the Null Spear here. I could totally use the Null Sphere here, uh, but this is going to create 12 Doom Skulls regardless. Uh, it will reduce the explosion to 1 or 0, but yeah, I think, I think I'm just going to stick with this team. Now, Sycorax here is amazing when paired with Mistralis. So much... Um, mana for your team. It's really good for your Guild Wars score because you're creating so much mana so quickly. And um, life to all, all allies of the color. I would only be casting on one of these three colors so that I can loop with Sycorax, preferably brown or blue. Um, because Sycorax and Mistralis use blue, and then brown, of course, the entire team uses. Daughter of Ice converts red gems to blue and conjures an ice storm, which is fine, again, with that. Um, but let me look at this banner. That seems like an odd banner. Should be brown and blue, I would think. I think brown and blue would be better. Brown and blue. Is there one that's minus red? No. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Brown minus red. Green and brown. Brown and green. I mean, we could totally do that. Or blue and green. Huh. 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 Uh, mm, I'll just stick with what I've got. Uh, anyway, Dagger of Zajin is one of the two weapons I mentioned yesterday, the epic weapons that gets an extra turn. This word quick here is what tells you that you get an extra turn. And uh, yeah, double damage on goblins. I'm not fighting any goblins, but it doesn't matter. It's a free cast. So kind of want to put it down like this, though. Kind of do. You know what? Um, yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to leave it as is. And let me just make sure that I've got the class where I want it. Yes, Fortitude, Lightning Strike, Rot Solid, Dust Storm, excellent, Brown Allies, Immunity, Snap Freeze. Is my, my hero is not up front, so I don't need Impact. And Elementalist. Ugh. Ugh. It would be good to get their hero stunned, but so that they don't freeze me. But I am using three medals of Orpheus right now. Apparently, they're using at least one themselves because their my snap freeze has already worn off of them. Red to ah oh, bummer. Red to blue. I have no alignment. Really unfortunate there. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's do this. And, oh, too bad it's not brown to blue, red to blue. So unfortunate. Rah, slow start. I'm thinking, I'm thinking about my options. Trying to figure out a way to kind of make a path or a uh, bummer all right we've got mr alice that means at the match four it means that they're all enchanted now so yay for that i've got this match four on red and no alignment for a match four um with it so i'm going to go ahead and use it and beatrix is stunned which means she can't clean the cl she can't cleanse this, all of these traits go away when you get clen or when you get stunned. So she can't cleanse the team. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's lucky. Uh, okay, so I want to cast on brown if possible, which means I want to take the blue. Yes, I saw the skulls. 
Oh, next turn I'll be full up. Awesome. Still no alignment for the Daughter of Ice. Meh. Alright, did I just take... I just took brown, didn't I? I just took brown. Green is going to be the safest bet. But I don't want to do green because they're using green. Alright, blue? Blue, blue, blue? No? Meh. <sighs> All right. I could take a chance and cast on brown. The likelihood of getting a match four is really good if you have 13 plus on here, which is why I was looking at green. But just in case, I really don't want to risk it because I don't want Queen Beatrix to have a chance to cast on me. She can use blue too. I'm going to go ahead and cast on brown. I'm taking a chance. I'm taking a big chance. And it didn't pay off, which is sad. Uh, sad for me. So we're going to do this. Oh, there we go. Oh, free hit. Free hit if I want it. Uh, yeah, I've got plenty of brown on the board. So I'm going to go for Beatrix first, for sure. And uh, remove all green gems. Oh, that's, that's extra nice when fighting Beatrix. Okay, there we go. Mistralis is ready. I'm going to go ahead and do that. The splash damage is not as effective when they're not touching each other, but you can see I'm doing okay. So yay. Unfortunately, I no longer have alignment on brown. What about red? I have red! Ah, isn't it beautiful? All right, we're going to do this. Yay! <laughs> Goodness gracious. All right, let's see what we've got. 32, 33 Guild Wars points. I'm happy with that. That's just great with me. <sighs> oh. All right, next up. Oh, Codex. That means a RHEL team. So I'm sure that I've got... Yep, here it is. Nope, that's not it. Uh, Yes, it is. There we go. So here's what we're going to do. This one's from RHEL. Anything with uh, Ulor on it is going to help immensely, especially with the Lord of Slaughter. Oh, that's a strong team. Draxius is going to convert brown gems to skulls. Oi. All right. Um, let's see. So we're going to put it... Where am I going to put it? I'm using up all of my teams. Uh, we can do this one. I haven't used this in ages. I like the team, but I haven't used it in ages. So manage, paste, we'll put it here. Elementalist, all filled up. Appropriate banner. Okay, it's going to be a slow start. If I can just get some mana. I mean, I'm using three mythics here, but that's why I have the Mountain Crusher with me. I just have to hope that they don't take off on me. I just really have to hope that they don't take off on me before I get a chance to get going. So this is a good start. Um, and she, um, green is not frozen, only blue, brown, and yellow. So I can take this match for. And lightning strike. Ah, oh, we love lightning strike. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to take some more green because this is going to transform green. Oh, that there's, they have match four alignment there. Oh. Oh, that bites. Oh, and the Lord of Slaughter does true damage. Okay, actually, I am going to have to take brown to get my rock solid um, barrier. <sighs> this is brown to skulls. This is green to brown. So I'm going to do this. And they didn't hit me. Ha! <sighs> Okay, take the skulls, don't take the skulls. Uh, brown to skulls, it's bad for me. Um, and green to brown. Uh, not great for me, but not terrible. I'll take the skulls. Then I'll blow up all the brown. Hee <laughs> Take that. Oh no, of course I started a dust storm, so that's good. Okay, I can loop on brown now, so awesome. We've got this. Now, I could pause and cast with Ulor right now, which would be very helpful. But instead, I'm going to cast this. And we'll take that match four. Ah, oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. 
awesome sauce. All right. Um, we'll do Miss Rallis again. Guaranteed extra turn, which is what makes her shine so brightly. That and the enchant all allies on match four plus gems. She's super strong and... In my opinion, she is the first mythic that one should go after crafting-wise, depending on your goals in the game, but um, that's my opinion anyway. So we're going to cast on brown again. There's plenty of brown to loop with. So at this point, we just loop them to death. Between Sycorax and Mistralis, it's all good. We just keep going. <laughs> We've got this made. Ah, I'm going to take the skulls because it's fun and finish with Mistralis. Told you it's a fantastic team, but you've got to get mana for it to get started. You can easily get a brown board and totally cr crater. Mm, not as high as I had hoped. 1392 is still is acceptable. I'd like to go over 1400 on the second battle, but that's still good. I did get a rather slow start, so... Another one. Uh, play gratis here because it's impervious. Unless you get it stunned, and if you get it stunned, then it's no longer impervious. Also, if you get it cursed, you can devour it. Hehe. <laughs> um, and it also is a good mana generator. Siren is empowered. Gimlet is empowered. Siren is going to do damage to an enemy, and hopefully, the hope is when you're using her on defense is that she's going to hit one of these and hit the brown portion and not something else so that that will also feed their doom codex oh this is just a tricky tricky team let me see what else i've got here bum, 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 bum. Hmm. so i could totally go with some oh hey Grey King. Let me see what they're using here. No, definitely not the Grey King. Okay. Um. Oh, Chalcedony. I put together a Chalcedony team. But that's dangerous. If I lose control of the board using Chalcedony, they're going to have so much brown. So, no, I think it's too dangerous to use that. Uh, anyway, Chal Chalcedony, two Defiance and the Obsidian Libram worked really well in PvP. Really nice. Uh, but that's not what I want. And what class? Elementalist. Of course they're using Elementalist. Skull spamming team. Really good. Um, are they running stealthy? No, they are not running stealthy because they're using Elementalist. Okay, we're going to use the tried and true, this team that Kimber gave me not long after I joined the Knights of the Lost uh, I've moved up a guild since then in our guild family, but this is a really good team. It doesn't have any, um, it doesn't have any, let me change this. I could have a 50% mana start. Um, it doesn't have any um, mythics on it is what I was trying to say. I totally distracted myself. I could go Frost Mage and get the 50% mana start, which would be super helpful. Oh, the 50% mana start would be really helpful right now. Wait, what did I say? Frost Mage. Um, which talent tree is that? Mana Source, that's Arcane. Let me just do a search for that real quickly here. See what else we've got available. Um, yeah. Oops, I meant to search here. Arcane. Okay, so Bard, Frost Mage, G Geomancer has a 50% mana start. Of course it does. Um, Necromancer, Plague Lord, and Tidecaller. Ooh, I've almost got that maxed. Yay! Ah, it's exciting for me. Um, yeah, I think I will... Oh, gosh, it's so hard, though. Titan... Let me look at Titan. Hold on. Um, Titan does not have Arcane. It does. The 50% mana start does not come from uh, the, the talents. It comes from this, from the trait. So 50% mana start. Hold on. Let me look again. I'm losing track. Impact. Excellent. Counter attack. Hammer mastery. I am using... Am I using a hammer on this team? I can't remember. Brown allies. Dust storm. 
they've probably got the dust storm, so I could probably use something else. I am using a dwarf. Barrier, of course, lightning strike, and fortitude, absolutely. That doesn't have freeze, though. It doesn't have freeze. With a 50% mana start. And the dust storm. So they're probably using the dust storm. Let me double check here. And they are not using the dust storm. Interesting. Good job, fake peeps. That would have helped me. Um, Elementalist would start with a dust storm as well. And it has free. I, I'm. It's. It's just too. It's just too unsafe. I'm going to change it to Elementalist because if they get going, I am toast. That team will loop and loop and loop. Elementalist. Um, yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'm ready. In we go. <laughs> but I've talked about this like 10 minutes. Okay, it's probably been more like five, but still. Second guessing myself all the way. Um, yeah, match four to start with with lightning strike. Ooh, yeah. Um, and they need red, so I'm actually going to take it. No. There's no chance of a mana surge if you just match four, but there is if you get a match five. So I'm actually going to do the match five. And I got the mana surge. Yay. But I didn't need it. I wasn't paying attention. Ah! Okay, got that, got that. She's gonna... She could hit something besides brown. If she goes for my hero, it will be brown that she creates. We've got all of this green on the board for Gimlet. Ooh. Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Ah, uh, they got a match four. Ah, uh, they got a match four. No! And I don't have a match for Arg. Gimlet is green to brown. Ugh. She hit the brown. But they didn't loop. <gasps> yes. Yes. All right, let's blow things up. Get some mana. Cockatrice is ready to go. Fantastic. Uh, just don't kill me. Just don't, don't kill me. Yeah. Stop! Alright, who has full mana? He has full mana. I'm likely to be able to loop, but... Oh, this this one's blue to Doom Skulls, isn't it? Dang! If only I had enough mana. Um, this one is red to Doom Skulls and yellow to blue. Yellow to blue, red to Doom Skulls. No alignment! Rawr! Alright, let's create um, some brown... And there's my alignment, but I can't use it anymore. Oh, grammar fubuff. <sighs> okay, stop and think. This one is soon. Oh, it doesn't even matter if I hit. Um, it doesn't even matter if I hit alignment with this, and yeah, at all, because. This one is frozen, and that means using skulls is going to... So I can just go ahead and cast it and not worry about it, except that I, you know, just gave them a match for on skulls. That's, yeah, I, how many of you were screaming, don't do it! It wouldn't have mattered. I don't think I could have won that. It's a good team. Mine is a good team, too, but I just didn't get a good start. So, so far, we're in, you know... Ah. Uh. Um... Why does that show that I won? I'm confused. <sighs> the Null, the Spirit Fox, the Codex. Yeah, Spirit Fox is going to drain mana, remove all yellow gems, do true damage. Gimlet again transforms green to brown for the Doom Codex. Null is going to smite me because it does triple damage on its spell. I need impact here. I have to have impact, so I'm going to try to show off this team. I'm going to try to show how good this team is. Um, so I'm going to change this to impact here. 
inflict stun so that they can't do triple skull damage. Well, it's double skull damage. It's double skull damage. But it's also... Oh, wait. I was thinking of yesterday's. But yeah, it's still double skull damage. And we don't want that. We don't want him to cast either. But I'm going to take a chance here. It's gotten really hot here again. I am dying in this heat. I'm not frozen on red. I wasn't frozen on purple either. I should have taken the purple. Although, them not having the red is good for me. Um, oh, they've got alignment here. I'm taking this anyway. Oh, oh, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> I'm not frozen anymore, but still. They took my alignment away. I mean, they took away my mana. They took my mana. Okay, so I have to take this. I need the brown, not the green. Um, yeah, I'm going to do that. Ugh. Oh, I'm using a skull spamming team against elementalist. What was I thinking? Liberty gibbets. Ah, oh, elementalist is just so strong. I'm no longer frozen, which is fantastic. Red to doom skulls and yellow to blue does nothing for me. However, okay, are we immune to mana drain? This is my question. Uh, no. Awesome. I'm not frozen on purple, so I'm going to take that. And that. Just so they can't have it. And blue, red, blue, blue, wait, blue, is, is it yellow to blue? Yellow gems to blue. So I have alignment there. I can do this. I was hoping for a backup alignment with this for red. Bomber. Oh, no. Well, he is entangled. That's going to help. Unless that wears off. And... Mm, Doomed Codex is going to do damage to all of my team. With the scatter damage. So I'm actually going to go ahead and drain him. Got my mana back, and I looped. Yes! Oh! Yes! Okay. No alignment on red. No alignment on blue. What about yellow? No! No alignment. That is the one problem with this team, is not having alignment. Blue to Doom Skulls? I mean, pretty good there. Ah. Uh. Uh, I mean, I am <laughs> I'm past the turn and hope that my it wore off. The gargoyle gems are helping me immensely. <laughs> Thank you, gargoyle gems. All right. Don't need to worry about their mana right now. Kind of tempted to do this. thing that they're entangled. Blue. This is Glaceon and um, King Bloodhammer work really well together. Now we've got this blue alignment. Watch this. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Ah, bam, shakalaka. Oh, I love it. Ah. Kind of want to take that skull match. But they're entangled and I would much rather take their mana away. So, no alignment. Blow some stuff up. Oh, no, I do not know what my score is going to be on this. Um, tempted to blow off the Mountain Crusher. But I think I'll take the Skull Hit instead. And that Skull Hit. Yes, I wasn't looking, but I have red alignment now. This one's red? Yes. Aw, oh, she was barriered. Eh, but I have blue now, so yay! <laughs> oh, I'm choking. Hold on. That was awesome. Um, let's see. Shall I go up? Let's. We don't need blue. Actually, gonna go this way. Excellent. 
kind of want to take that and do this instead. Yellow to blue, red to doom skulls also raise the strongest enemy. I'm just going to do this. Ah, blue to doom skulls. There. It's no longer um, entangled, but I've got the blue to doom skulls here, and this will take care of him. Didn't go as well as I had hoped, but it's still acceptable. I'm okay with that. And this should, yeah, there's my, my minus there. I knew it would show up eventually. And lastly, we have, oh, we've got them. Let's try the Chalcedony team, shall we? Yes. So Chalcedony, as you've got to know by now, is going to create a ton of brown because I have an all construct team. I'm using Geomancer. Um, this is dangerous. It's dangerous to use Geomancer here because no freeze. And we're talking goblins here. Oh, it's a really good team, though. It loops to death, but yeah. Oh, let's use our other looping team. Ha ha. Wahaha. Ha. Brown attack Mistralis. There we go. And Dagger of Zajin. Ha! Double damage if they're from Zajin. So yeah, definitely. Let's do this one. I don't know what I was thinking, except that I really wanted to use the Chalcedony team today. Mm, red to blue does nothing once again. But I've got a match for. I've got, I've got enchant on everything, so yay for that. Um, let's see. I want to leave the brown on the board. I would rather loop with brown than blue or green, if possible. I'm going to give them a skull hit here if I do... Either if I take the green, no matter which direction I take it, they're going to get a skull hit. Uh, and... Brown and green, yes. They didn't take the skulls. There you go. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's risky. Blue to, I could do blue to red. It wouldn't loop, but... Um... Oh, no! take the yellow. Okay, better? Better now? Better, better? No. No better. Eh. And I looped anyway. <gasps> I looped, but not well enough. That's okay. We're gonna do that. I have alignment! I have alignment! Yes! Free hit. Whom shall I hit? String Fiddler. Definitely going for String Fiddler. 112 damage. He 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 he. Ah, uh, <clears throat> pardon. I'm not going to take this match four. Uh, I'm going to hope for. Okay, that didn't work out, but I have brown here. That should be enough to loop. Yes. And we should be good to go now. Oh, she only hit once. All right, whom shall we do next? Gob truffle. All right. Should be able to loop here. We're just gonna do that, and this should be the end. Yes! Yay, Mistralis! With Sycorax, so powerful. Even Mistralis all by herself is, is powerful, but for the fifth battle, which is technically the fourth, 16-16, really not bad for the um, champion. It wasn't the Paragon, so I couldn't have gotten higher than that. Uh, much, but um, yeah, 79.66, that's not bad, I'm right up there by 8,000 again, I'm sticking with my 4 and 1 for the week, but you know, sometimes I just want to use different teams and showcase different things and that doesn't always work out, and the gems just don't work out for showcasing the teams sometimes either, so anyway I hope that you enjoyed this, team codes will be listed below, as will a link to my forum, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye!